Deploying shards! Got a whole slew of them. Time for the main event! Band alive! Rage! Certainly not. I only just arrived. Think nothing of it. Or would you prefer to call it a debt owed? The rules forbade me from getting directly involved in what happened in Orasian, so I was forced to stand on the sidelines as the place filled with fond memories for us was saved by you. Consider this revenge for that.
long as they have that much spirit, they should have no trouble dealing with this. Still... I faintly sense a presence that is not of this world here. I cannot precisely pinpoint it, now that I've lost my stigma. But I can see I will need to be prepared for trouble, all the same. Right 
If you would. By the heavens! Here! Mr. Kincaid! Activate your skill. Give it up. It's over! Keep going! It's go time! Some of them! A chance! Activate skill! By the heavens! Here! <laughs> I can live with this! It's oh, over! Nothing to sneak out on ya! Up to you, Reset! 
initiating drive. Initiating drive. Enemy sight. Be careful. I'm Engaging counting it. You got a charge and you're ready to go. There's still more. Activating shots. Energy output at full throttle. Activating Unleashing full strength. Lance mode is activated. Degama driver. Boost gauge limit exceeded. Dispatching shield. <clears throat> I won't let this chance slip by. Activating speed. I will be quick. Never tip. Now or never. Machine skill. Swift. I'm going. Initializing drive. Activating drive. Here goes. Keep your guard up. You're not getting away. Blast off! I won't let this chance slip by. Huh? Up to you, Lieutenant. Eat this! Initiating skill. That went better than I anticipated. Good job, Reset! Is there anyone here who's got some dirt on Van? Hmm, I don't think I have anything that would top what his best friend could share. I have a story or two. I'll tell you about when Mr. Arkride trained for three months at the Mardu- Leave this to me! Taking center stage! Shut up! And why the hell do you know about that anyway? <laughs> Threat level high. Be extremely cautious. Well, that's that. Time to gather some data. You've got a charge attack ready. I'm on it. Thanks a whole bunch, Fia. Zeros. Now let's get back to business. Take care. That's above an A-level threat. Engaging enemy! Don't forget about your charge attack! Point. Would you Ooh, a treasure chest? Too slow. 
Don't use your cool. Let's finish this quickly. Energy output at maximum. Activate your skill. Target acquired. Take this! Go time! Your main skill. Have some of this! A chance! Activated skill. The lady's ready! Mary! This all hurts! What is the deal with me? Wait up! That one felt pretty good. You did wonderful, Fairy. Too Get to work. There. Your charge attack is ready. Very well done. It's over! This is it! Close in and kick the Take this! Come back when you're stronger. Charge attack is ready for use. There! Take this! Just take this! It's over! Let's keep moving ahead. Ooh, a treasure chest! Wanna clear them out? Here goes! Get in the hot I've got this! Just good to use a charge attack, you know. Enemy stunned. Time for shards. We're not done yet! Take that, you ass! We're not done yet! Take this! Here goes! What is it?
So you know all about me growing up in an orphanage in Arasion. But after that, I ended up in the custody of another place. A lot happened after that, to say the least. Both good and bad. Then things changed again when I was 14, and I ended up somewhere else. That was when someone suggested I take the entrance exam for Aramis. And that was where we met again for the first time in seven years. I had no idea what they'd been up to all that time, and they knew just as little about me. There are just some people you can't get away from, though, I guess. Still, while neither of us knew exactly what happened to him, we could tell something had. We didn't try to push the matter. Instead, we rejoiced in our reunion and rekindled our old bonds. Much happened during our time together, including the school festival in late April and the student council president election. And through it all, we quickly went back to being as close as we were before. When I became student council president, the two of them even helped me with my work. Still, not everything could be the same as it was in the old days. It didn't take long for Van and Elaine to realize their attraction to one another. And, during late autumn, the two of them confessed to each other and started dating. Having suspected how they felt towards one another since our childhood, the only surprise for me was that it took so long. Still, while it made me happy to see the two of them come together, I couldn't help but feel a little lonely to see them pair off without me. Did I have feelings for her? No, not at all. I had a girlfriend of my own at the time, and all in all, I was quite satisfied with my personal life. All the letter he left to me said was, sorry, take care of Elaine for me. While the one he left for Elaine contained a clumsily written apology. Neither of us were told anything about the reason behind his actions. And that's how second year student Van Arkride dropped out before he could graduate. That was seven years ago now. Well, seven and a half if you want to get nitpicky about it. Van is going to be just fine. Oh? Hmm? I believe the reason he said what he did this morning is the opposite. Because he's facing us head on. He's not trying to change the subject or gloss over how he's feeling. He's giving us a clear sign that something's wrong. We all know how he is. He's cunning, but kind, and more dependable than anyone. And deep down, a little timid, too. That's why I'm not worried about him. He's going to be just fine. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> you have been doing a fine job as the chief of Arkwright Solutions. It seems to come to you naturally, too, as does your consideration for all of us. Yeah. I've always been good at looking out for others. I mean, look at how understanding you've been of my situation. I don't think Elaine and Kincaid are going to be satisfied with that explanation. Or the others in the office, for that matter. Uh. I believe the time will eventually come for you to stop running and face everyone. 
Not just us, but your friends, your master, the people you live with. There are so many people who care deeply for you. I count myself among them. It's honestly hard to watch you sometimes and not say anything. But at the end of the day, the responsibility falls to you before anyone else. And you need to be aware of that. <laughs> Good grief. I feel like I can hear everyone on Renee's side saying the same damn things. I'll settle this with myself eventually, if for nothing else but to make me look cool. <laughs> that sounds like a good start to me. <laughs> you do like to act cool after all. We would all like to do what we can to help you when that time comes. <laughs> Perhaps he's finally losing his touch. Or more like it's time for him to finally pay the piper. Damn, he's fighting a losing battle if even a schoolgirl can see through his act now. Feels like he's putting a pointlessly long abeyance on the inevitable while he tries to find himself to me, if I'm being real with you. Hmm, I could see the finding himself angle, yeah. No idea what an abeyance is, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it's quite that simple. Still, I believe in him. I know he'll stop averting his eyes one day. Not from us so much as from himself. And yes! Listen to this, girl. It's that kind of straightforward honesty that has the greatest effect on him, I think. Perhaps if I'd been able to say the same to him seven years ago. No. There's no use in dwelling on the past. <laughs>